Hey y'all, I want to update you on, this was, uh, the shot glass, the, sh the Malibu shooter pour, and I am glad that I didn't touch it, because I think I said as I was walking over to grab the camera, oh, I really wish I had, you know, futzed with it some more, but I really like it. And the next one I'm going to show you is absolutely disgusting. It is the chameleon pour. And you see that? That is silicone that all rose to the top. Um, it is so nasty. Like, it is, it is just tons of silicone sitting on the top. It is so gross. Um, and the black kind of sucked it. Like, it just, I mean, I knew it was an experiment when I did it. And it is, that part still looks way cool. But it is, it is not good. Not good at all. So, that's going on the floor. I'll probably end up cleaning the silicone off just so that I can keep using it as a um, practice canvas. And I am painting over this today. There are parts in the lines that I really loved, but for the most part, it is very, very ziggy zaggy. And um, so I'm not crazy about the ziggy zags. Okay, snag some gloves. And I'm going to use the Malibu shooter glass again. Ugh. I'm sitting on my the bench right now, my stool. And can I just tell you? Hang on, I got to get a drink of water. If any of you have done Orange Theory or rode a lot, my butt is killing me. We rode for like 25 minutes today, and I am in quite a lot of pain. So this is my um, Dutch Boy house paint. I just mixed it up and it is mixed with Floetrol and water and it is fairly thick. I may thin it out a little. Not with this pour because I'm already started, but it is very thick. It's actually a decent consistency but my colors are then going to be too thin for it. But we're gonna try and make it work anyways, because I don't wanna stop and mix up some more paints. So I mixed a bunch of paint colors together because when I get down to when there's just a little bit of each color, I combine light colors together. Wednesday. I'm trying to think what the heck day it is. It is Wednesday for me. This will probably be shown on Saturday, I think. And I was answering um, a bunch of you or comments, and then when I looked, um, everything, all, it had all gone away. So, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm hoping that tonight when I try and do it again, that, um, my comments don't all disappear. I've never had that happen. But, who knows? Alrighty, so... I'm just going to sit it on here because it's just white paint. It's not going to hurt it. So this is um, some kind of green. 
I need to mix up some phthalo green. I really like phthalo green. That's just deep yellow, artist loft turquoise, soho dioxazine purple, and artist loft ultramarine. Which if you're looking for like a bright true blue, it's a good one. I did mix up, which is one of my favorite combos, um, uh, fluorescent pink with um, magenta makes the prettiest pink color ever. Alright, so I hope you can see this. yellow, turquoise, whoa, a lot of purple, and you can see because it's so narrow and I didn't tilt it enough when I was, you know what, actually I'm going to So it will probably come out um, in those different colors in those orders. So I took my, my dog to get groomed today. Oh my gosh, she looks so nice. She looks like she's about 20 pounds thinner. She had so much matting. And my husband picked her up. And he, I'm usually the one that pays for all that. So he had no idea what dog grooming costs. So he found, he got to find that out today. He was not real happy about that. Man, those people work hard though. Remember that show, The Micro Dirty Jobs? He went with dog groomers once, and there was an episode, and oh my gosh. I'm guessing they don't get paid nearly as much as they should. <laughs> so this is really pretty. And there's no silicone in it. Um, It's actually kind of settling, like these, the indents are coming together a little bit. But you know what, I do want to, I am going to swirl it a little more, just because they're I didn't tilt off a whole lot of white, so um, uh, there would have been a lot of white coming up. I don't want that. But you can see how my color is thinner than the white, because some of the color just wants to skim across the top. So that's what happens when your paints are a different consistency. You can see, especially right here. It won't make any difference once the piece is dry.
digging this. And it's actually very similar colors to the one I poured over. And I did like those colors. Do not keep tilting it so it ends up in the same zigzags as the one I poured over. I mean, like, the paint is thick, but it's not very deep. You can see what the torch did. The torch brought out the, um, the deep purple. So you can see the veins of the purple. Oh, I also want to show you, I just resined this one. Look how pretty that is. I just have to sand the edges a bit. So these are, all of these are available for purchase. This one, I need to sand the edges. But it has a couple coats of resin, so it's really nice and smooth. Yeah, I just have to sand the tape. But isn't that pretty? And then this one is going to be the death of me because I sanded or I poured a second coat because there was something in it. And now there's 
another something in it. Where'd it go? Right, right there. Drives me nuts. And then this is the other one, and this one is sold. So that, I'm just waiting to put hardware on the back of it. And, ooh, I love it. Ooh, it looks like a bat. It's got a little dark. There we go. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching. And again, those are the colors I used. And I will catch you next time. Bye.